Hey everybody, it's Dino with the Late Late Horror Show in my virtual reality world. Uh, I am coming to you uh, as an animated uh, avatar, so here we go. Uh, no, I, I wanted to show you guys this world because it's right up our alley. It's nostalgia, it's uh, 80s, early 90s, even before then, uh, arcades. Uh, if you remember going to the arcades, playing the games, you know, it, it's this is like a museum in here of... Atari, IBM, uh, Sega, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo, all of these things. So I am going to turn this around. We are going to walk through there. And you guys got to understand that I am in a virtual world. Uh, it is raining here. Look at that. Oh, it's raining and I'm not getting wet. But I can see everything. There is a blockbuster video over there. Right there. But uh, let me turn this around real quick. And show you guys what I'm seeing so here we go if I turn it around let's get a perfect right uh, there of the video store and we are going to walk right up to it and the outside's pretty darn cool too man got the Nintendo posters Sega uh, everything and the de detail that went into all of this stuff you guys it's just fantastic. It's just unbelievable. Music. I'll show you a little bit more music when we get inside. But this world is fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, Atari. Oh, what's this over here? Um, Metal Gear. And we got a Coke machine over here too. But um, And we got Pizza Hut, Burger King... There's the city skylight. Uh, so, but let's get into this arcade. Let's enter and show you what's it, because it is open. So there it is. Um, I don't know what that is, but there we go. So as you enter, you have all the machines to the left. You have a little bar to the right. And if we turn around, we have this little booth here. I mean, this is the place I'd love to come eat some pizza play some games with my friends uh, look at the posters on the wall you got your Atari posters and you even got MTV video up on the walls so I mean does it get any better than that man um, let's see what's that uh, Game Boy uh, trying to show you guys everything just so you can get a good look at everything that's on. I mean look at this I look up at the ceiling, there we go. Um, some big silver thing, I don't know what the heck that, oh, that's a ventilation system. Okay, so, let's move over here. And, uh, anybody care for some pizza? There you go, that's good. But anyways, over here is uh, Midnight Resistance. You guys remember that? No? And, LeBrock, who the heck is LeBrock? Coming soon to. 77077 Arcade and Bar, which is what this is, uh, which I'll back up here. You know, there are some things on the bar that are pretty cool too, like that radio and cassette. And there is a Sony Walkman right there that I just got to show. Let me look down. There's the Sony Walkman. I mean, come on. Then we got some Skid Row posters, Megadeth. It's uh, very cool stuff as we look around. And let me take you guys up to... This is Alien vs. Predator. You guys all remember that game. Very cool stuff. Like I said, this is, this is like a museum, man, for uh, arcade systems. Um, I am going to move over and start over here and show everything. So there you go. Let's get a little bit closer. And Champion Street Fighter 2. Okay. We got New Zealand, the New Zealand Story. I do not remember this arcade game at all. I'm not sure if you guys remember it. But yeah. And then we, oh geez, sorry. Walked into it. R-Type. Uh, seems like my kind of game. Loved Centipede, Asteroids and all that. Uh, X bots or XY bots. That's the next one. 
Defender. Very cool. And Ghost and Goblins over at the end. Uh, very cool game. Very cool. And then, look at the line of arcade games. We'll be going over there for some, like, uh, some really cool stuff. So, anyways. Uh, let me get over here. Let me turn around. Raston. I don't remember that one either. Power Drift. I do remember that. Bonanza Brothers. Look at that. Boop, 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 boop. Very cool. And Bad Dudes. You guys remember Bad Dudes? Versus Dragon Ninja. Very cool. And of course, Pac-Land. Can't forget that. And, uh, what is that? For, I don't even know what that one is. How did I miss that one? It is a Sega game, so... Um, I'll come over here in a second. This is really cool. This is like a uh, the IBM thing. Um, first game consoles. Contra. There you go. Joust. Here, let's get a little closer to that. Look at that. Oh, some cool stuff, man. Contra! Um, and I'm trying not to... I'm trying to let you, just got, let you guys just see what's going on. And of course, on the back wall, there's like advertisements and everything. Big video screen over there. Um, oh, and do you guys remember this? Anybody who went to the mall and had a video arcade in there had this dance machine. I think it was... Uh, Jeez, early 2000s? Dance, dance, revolution. So very, very cool. I'll tell you, whoever put this together, put it together with a labor of love uh, ventilation system. Again, this is a virtual world. I am in it. It's it's like I, I am in it. So it is very, very cool. Look at there's there's another line of arcade games. Like this one is, let's see, Splatterhouse. Do you guys remember Splatterhouse? Listen to... Look at that, man. Splatterhouse. I'll, I'll let you see a little bit of that. Game over, man! Game over! That is cool stuff. Cool stuff from Splatterhouse. Um, Rolling Thunder? Rolling Thunder. I do remember. But, yeah, then we got... Boy, we got Rampage. We've got... Smash TV. Man, let's look a little closer at Rampage. Very cool. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Very cool. Ikari Warriors. Some of these I never... I mean, you know, you get your favorites that you get into, but... Afterburner. Flight game. There you go. Oh, there you go. Bubble Bubble. Bubble Bobble. I don't remember Bubble Bobble. I do not remember that. But let's go back over here. We got over here we got Dark Stalkers. I do remember that. I never played it. But another cool thing in here. And this thing is Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, very cool. When things got a little bit better. Okay, let me come back over here again. And let's dive into this. This is... This is... Right here. Super Nintendo. Released 1990. World's best-selling 16-bit console. First console with inbuilt sprite scaling and rotation effects. And 16 million colors. Very cool. Legend of Zelda. There you go. Awesome stuff, man. That, there we go. Look at that. If you don't have a virtual reality headset yet, Oculus, you know, which are pretty, like, f Facebook's just giving it away. So, uh, you know, give it a shot. It's awesome. Atari 2600. Released in 1977, world's first console. Started the home video game industry. World's dominant system until the video game crash of 1983. So there you go. And you know, 2600 was pretty basic. Shapes, movements, stuff like that. Um, 
Then, oh, well, there's the add to consoles and stuff like that. This is Space Sega Master System Power Base. So, if you've never seen one, there it is. Very cool. Um, Sega Master System. This was released in 1985. It's an 8-bit home console. Uh, Sega's first home console uh, completed directly with the NES. Hugely popular in Europe. So there you go. And there's some pizza, but you know, hey, whatever. Uh, then we got Sega Genesis. This one was uh, MD. was released in 1988. World's first 16-bit console. Established in high quality quality home ports of Sega's huge library of arcade hits so there you go uh, Golden Axe a very cool one and there is the console right there as you can see as we move over to when it got really good um, Nintendo Entertainment System released in 1985 world's best-selling 8-bit home console massively popular thanks to games like Super Mario Brothers and Metroid so that was it and there is the gaming console right there and right next to that is Neo Geo if you have never seen a Neo Geo console right there there you go and again Neo Geo is uh, released in 1990 SNK world's first 24-bit console insanely powerful system <laughs> most expensive console ever uh, games were three hundred dollars holy holy moses smell the roses but there you go that's some cool stuff and we're going to make our way back over here because there is s the ibm stuff over here let's see if i can scoot in here and back up um, i'm going to try come on don't freeze uh, we have this one here is the Dell and this one is the Commodore Amiga 1200 released 1992 16-bit home computer 16.8 million colors sampled sound and music many of the Amiga games graphics and overpowered both the Mega Drive and SNES so of course i mean it's a computer so there you go even though it was one of the first ones but uh you got dune let's see what else is over here you got oh i'm way up now let's me turn away like this uh what is that mercenary frontier you've got oh what's that back there blood captain is back there uh, there's some games up on there too I will get a good shot of that so you guys can check that out. I mean, this is going to be fun just for you guys to check out, man. Uh, there's the seats and everything. Let's move over. Boy, there's a whole line over this way, too. Let's see. Over this way, we've got more Megadeth signs. Uh, there's MTV playing on, <laughs> on the wall. Super cool. Super cool. I just wish they would play 120 minutes, but that's okay. Bon Jovi, Alice in Chains, Metallica, White Snake. Uh, you name it. It's Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, we got Mortal Kombat here. And we got... Uh, what the heck is that? I don't know which one that is. I can't read the, the name to it. But anyways, let's move on over to this set up here. Which is pretty cool too. This is Super Mario Kart. So, uh, I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry guys. Um, this is released in 1991, one of the first CD-based systems, a sprite scaling and rotation effects, full motion video, uh, very cool stuff. There is your <laughs> big, big 16-bit console right there, and you got Super Mario Kart on there, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Got some Sonic on the big, there's some more MTV, uh, Metal Gear, just cool stuff. Uh, and over by the John, where the toilet is, and we'll go in there in a second. I mean, what the heck? We'll, we'll look at it. Fantasy Star 2. Uh, over here, this is 
this is right here is Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released in 1982, the UK's best-selling 8-bit home computer. Very few colors, but over 1,700 games, earned its creator Clive Sinclair a knighthood from the Queen. There you go. Hello there, sir. Um, very cool. And if we move over a little bit, you can see a little bit more of everything here. Trying to get as close up to some of the stuff as I can so you guys can see it. And then over here is the Commodore 64. Released in 1982, world's best-selling 8-bit home computer. High-quality music thanks to the C64 SID chip with over 10,000 games. That's a lot of games. Damn. Huge in the UK and Europe. So there you go. And we could... We could check out the bathroom. What's going on in here? Um, anybody in there? Anybody using the stalls? Come on. Uh, anyways. Um, very cool. Oh, geez. There I am. Um, not a good reflection. Uh, yeah. Yep. There we go. Always had one of those. I don't think we have any of those anymore. They expect you to be responsible. But um, uh, anyways. More posters. Very cool stuff. Really don't know what the barrel's doing in here, but uh, this box. Look at that. Video computer system by Atari. Take a peek in that box. See what you got. Space Invaders. Very cool stuff. What did I miss? Uh, I know there was something right over here. This is the last section. PlayStation, Sega, Saturn. So here we go. Um, there's the consoles. Your PlayStation and your Sega. So, you have Sega Saturn, released in 1994, Sega's first 32-bit console. So, there you go. And PlayStation, uh, 1994, Sony's first ever console. So, there you go. Lots of cool stuff on there. The age of the CDs, but lots of cool games on there, man. Very cool stuff. You know, it, it, the funny thing about all of this is, you guys, here, let me come over here, too. This is just like a big kind of dance floor type thing or something. There's a very cool arcade type thing going on here. So, uh, I'm trying to think where would be a cool thing to turn this thing back around. Let me grab this. Uh, let's see if I could turn this back around again. So you can see me. Here I am. I am bright as heck. It's only because I'm standing in the neon. I'm standing in the neon lights here in the dance floor area. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This this was walk kind of through a a museum of sorts of old arcade systems. I mean, this is just you know really really awesome. This is a huge world, uh, a, a very cool place where. You can hang out with friends with your virtual headset. Um, I just can't say enough about this place. This is really cool. And there's not one person here right now. Not one person here. So if you do a search for retro, it's, um, again, it's 7077 Arcade. It'll come right up. Um, but I'm going to walk you guys out here again and say my goodbye. Let me turn this around. And let, let's, let's go outside and I want to show you the Blockbuster real quick. So I'm going to run outside as fast as possible to the Blockbuster. I'm not going to go in there. Look at this, a phone booth. How you like this? There's a phone booth in here. Oh, it's got Madonna ads and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's it's an actual telephone booth. But um, I'm not going in there because it's playing music and I'll get dinged. So, uh, uh, with that said, I'm going to I'm going to turn this around again and go back this way and just tell you guys, thank you very much for watching another video here on the Late Late Horror Show of Dino, me, in the vir virtual reality Dino, right? <laughs> um, I, I know that looks weird because I'm animated. I'm an avatar but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and until the next world i discover and i record for you guys and show you guys i hope you enjoyed this
a uh, little tour around there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that back there. It was kind of cool. But uh, anyways, until next time, you guys. Peace.